Hey, I'm Shay, and welcome back to Books with Shay. So for today's video, I'm going to be setting up the first part of my library with you guys, as you can kind of see behind me in my new bookish background. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on kind of why the library setup is the way it is. And yeah, there are just some details that I think will make this easier to understand. So in case you guys don't know or you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I am living in a remodel right now. So basically my husband for work, part of what he does is flip houses to sell or to rent out. And so for his current flip project, it made the most financial sense for us to move into the house while he was working on it and to live in it for a little while before moving on to his next project. Because of the way things have panned out, it's a whole long story, but there are a lot of city approvals needed where we are in order to be able to move forward with the remodel model and what we thought was going to take four weeks we're now four months into and it has become this crazy crazy overwhelming task and so for that reason we have been kind of cooped up upstairs in the two upstairs bedrooms of this three bedroom two bath house and so we've been living off of everything we do is in those two bedrooms so one of them is set up as kind of like an office living room kitchenette all multi-purpose room and then the other one is set up as our bedroom and so because of that I had a single bookshelf that I brought with me because I couldn't do no bookshelves when I came to our new home so I brought a single bookshelf with me and I had been storing every book that I could fit onto that bookshelf now I am somebody who I am very much affected by my space if my space is clean or if it's messy uh, the color of the lighting the smell of the essential oils or candles or whatever the aesthetic all of that is it really goes into the way that I feel my mental health like it's just it's a big deal for me and my husband knows this so when we kind of realized that it was going to take much much longer than we originally anticipated and we're still waiting on approvals for the city and things like that LT decided my husband for those of you <laughs> who don't know he's in a lot of my videos so if you watch you probably know but LT decided that he wanted to kind of set up a space that I could use as my own while we were remodeling the rest of the house so this space will not stay this way the flooring still needs to change the paint in here still needs to change so everything will eventually come back down and out of this space when we get to remodeling it and I know that probably seems like a lot for you guys like <laughs> it probably it probably seems like a lot for us to put it all together and then take it all apart and then put it back together but just with how cramped the upstairs space is and how we've been basically camping for the last four months it is such a relief <laughs> I can't even put like adequately put words to it it's such a relief to have a space that belongs to me that I'm able to really kind of relax and unwind in and so we went and got some bookshelves one of LT and I's very best friends came with me while LT was working so that we could go ahead and get the space going before he got here and we went and got some bookshelves to add to the one I already had. So I had the one, this one here is the one that I already had that was upstairs. We added two new ones and then we have two more in storage and then I think I need one more thin shelf to fill out the room and the space. And so I will do another video as we kind of continue putting it together. This will probably be a multi-part series. I'm not exactly sure what I'll call it or anything, but there will be us putting together the temporary library, part one and two, and then there will be the journey of us putting together the permanent library. I don't know how long we'll live here. It kind of like, if any of you guys work in real estate or have spouses or friends or anything like that that work in real estate, you know, like it is, the market can be really finicky and so, depending on what is the most financially smart decision I guess we could be here for a year we could be here for two years uh, it probably won't be much longer than that but we'll probably be here for at least a year up to two years this is a lot of information for a library tour but I just wanted to let you guys know that's kind of what's happening so what we decided for while we are here is that the formal dining room area which will actually be the only dining room once everything is put together but we're going to kind of put a 
dining room type area in our living space. I'll show you guys as we get it done. But the formal dining room area, we decided to make that this into a library for me while we live here. And so I'm going to show you guys us turning the formal dining room into a temporary library in this video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or comments or anything, leave them down below. I always love chatting with you guys. And I actually am getting back to a ton of comments over this week because just my mental health wasn't in a space to answer them for a little while. But now I'm so excited to be chatting chatting with you guys again. Anyway, this is such a long-winded intro. I will let you guys kind of <laughs> get into the rest of the video at this point. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Stand up, did I do it right? And if my phone don't buzz when the morning comes, did you spend the night? But I'm alright, I'm alright. Still might try, still might try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick before. So I'm standing on the stairs and here is the drop cloth. Here is the empty room. So there is nothing in here except for this chair that he moved down for me. We hung some curtains because it was just open so you could just see in. They're way too long, I'm gonna pin them. And these are not the cur curtains that will be here when we're all the way done. But that's what's here for now. He hung this light fixture for me, that's from Ikea. Okay, so it is the next day after we brought all the books down and the bookshelf down and I'm about to organize my first book shelf and then I think I'm going to go to Ikea and get another one and then I think either today or tomorrow I'll go to storage and get the ones that I have in there along with the books that I have in there so that I can keep putting together my library. It's a little dark in here right now but I want to wait just a second to open the curtains because I am on the first level of my home and so as soon as I open them any of my neighbors are going to be able to see in and I live in like a cul-de-sac so like I don't know it's just <laughs> it feels weird to vlog where people in my cul-de-sac could see me. So I'm gonna open those though before I start putting things on the shelf so that you guys can see a little bit better. But I'll show you where we're starting and then I will organize this bookshelf and we'll keep going on the library journey. So, so we have the one bookshelf which barely fit by the way. The ceilings in our last house were higher and so the extensions like were nowhere near the ceiling but uh, in this house, in this room particularly, and most of the downstairs the ceilings are pretty low. Upstairs the ceilings are crazy high but down here they're just lower. Our last house was one story so there wasn't an upstairs to worry about but anyway so there's the one bookshelf there I think I can fit three more of that size on this wall and then a small one on this wall because part of this wall is coming out and so I can't really put too much on that wall but anyway so there's the one bookshelf there's the reading chair I'm gonna have in here for now here is my pile sorry if Oliver is whining we don't come down here at all like since we've been living upstairs we only come down here when it's time for him to go out which I can't say because he knows that word and so he thinks that I'm down here to take him OUT and so he keeps whining because he's like I don't understand why we're still inside even though he's recently been and doesn't need to go anyway here's all the books so these are the there's laundry basket full there a little box full here and here there's some fairy lights that LT surprised me with last night that he said he was saving to give me when we put together the library so he gave me a couple of packs of those there's the bag he got me for our anniversary that has books in it and then also we put up the picture ledge last night it has my phone on it right now but it has all of the Harry Potter illustrated editions along with the first one that LT ever read when he was a kid. You can see it is super beat up. And then my US hardcover of Chamber of Secrets because for some reason that's the only US hardcover I have right now. I have the Sorcerer's Stone one but I lent it to someone who had never read Harry Potter before and they haven't given it back and so I think I might actually have to buy every other book in the US hardcover set before my nerdy post dust jackets get here or whatever but anyway so that's just a $10 photo ledge from Ikea that I have displaying some books I know it seems weird that it's hung there in the middle of this wall but my piano is going to go underneath it here and then a little a thinner bookshelf is gonna go here so you have kind of the wraparound library feel 
even though the only, the main wall that's gonna have bookcases is this one here. So, yep, I'm just gonna put these onto there and hang out with this guy and put you on this tripod and open these windows. And, oh yeah, let me show you my light. So, LT, we got this light from Ikea. Again, it was super cheap, $30 maybe. And it's a really cool kind of black light. I don't know if you guys can tell because it's so dark in here, but it's black with gold hardware on it. And it's just kind of a basic light. But the thing that I like about it is the light bulb that's in it. So I'm all about uh, the aesthetic and the way things feel. And I feel like lighting is a big deal with that. So I have a Philips Hue light bulb in there and it is connecting. I'm trying to do it. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. It's like not gonna really focus. I'm going to turn it on and then it comes on and right now you can see it's kind of this like pastel, man you won't focus on my phone for anything. It's kind of this pastel pink color which is the light that's coming from it but I can go to these colors here and turn it any of these colors which is so cool and it'll change obviously with wherever I'm putting it and then I can go here and I can choose just if I want that's bright light that's night light that's reading light which is the one that I like the best for this room which is hilarious because that's obviously what I'm gonna be doing in here so I'm just I turned on the light just now and then I also have the light on here which you guys have seen I think in past videos before but we'll put lights on all of the bookshelves and so I have this book here holding it so it doesn't fall over so I'll turn that light on as well and then it's a pretty well lit room I'm just kind of stalling at this point because i am like man it's gonna be a lot of work to put these all on this bookshelf because they probably won't stay here but it's easier for me to organize them once they're on the bookshelf than it is from piles in the room and i want to kind of clean up the room before we come in here and start building bookcases so i'm about to put these all on here and then at some point i'll probably have to take them off like maybe even later on this evening when the other bookcases get in here so that I can decide what goes where. But then the other thing is I don't know where my boxes of books are in storage so I don't know if I'm going to bring be able to bring them all with the bookshelves tonight so I don't even know how long it will be before I know what all I have in order to organize it. I kind of want to do a rainbow organization style because I just never have been able to. I haven't ever had the space to have enough of my books on display to be able to do that but anyway. I don't know. I'm gonna just put them up here, up there by genre, I think, because that's what I've been doing for now. And so, first they're organized by genre, and then second by height is how I've been doing it. So, I'm gonna do that again for right now, and then maybe this evening later on we'll change it. Uh, and then also, I wanna go ahead and apologize in advance, first of all, for this planet on my face, Lord help. Um, but second, because my tripod is teensy, <laughs> and so I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to angle it for you guys to actually see what I'm doing, but I'm hoping maybe if it's scooted far enough back that you'll be able to see. I'm in these biker shorts and <laughs> house shoes and I'm just comfy organizing today, so excuse my whole appearance and let's see what we can do. My love don't speak to you like it does to me. And if I'm not insane, then I'll say goodbye so carefully. I'm alright, I'm alright, still my try, still my try What if you, what if I, spend the night one more time Love's on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind I think I'll give it a try, give it a try I'm alright, I'm alright, still my try, still my try what if you, what if I spend the night one more time? And if the words that we say climb up all the way, can we keep them there? And if it's too far to fall, then there's nothing at all, I'm too crazy to care. So it's not right, it's not right, still my try, still my try. What if you, what if I spend the night one more time? Love's on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind I think I'll give it a try, give it a try I'm alright, I'm alright, still my try, still my try What if you, what if I, still the night one more time On the tip of my tongue, I'm scared out my mind cause you're touching my arm 
On the tip of your tongue, I wonder if you got ideas of love On the tip of my tongue, looking at you and I rhyme the hell night On the tip of your tongue, I swear it's okay if you wanna just talk Well, I was on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind I think I'll give it a try, give it a try Cause I'm alright, I'm alright Still might try, still might try What if you, what if I Spend the night one more time I, 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 I. Those on the back of my mind, on the back of my mind I think I'll give it a try, give it a try Cause I'm alright, I'm alright Still might try, still might try What if you, what if I Okay, so we have a little Oliver down there sitting on the back of the, like the cushion for the back of the chair that I was using to cushion my knees while I did the rest of the bookcase. My neighbors are in their yard, so I'm like feeling super weird, but I realized that there was no way I was gonna fit everything by genre. A lot of things are just kind of shoved in there. It looks really messy, except for like, like I feel like there are two shelves like right here that don't look as messy, but everything else is like real messy looking with books and all different heights and kind of shoved up there. I'm gonna do, why are there so many people in my cul-de-sac is what I wanna know. I'm gonna do a quick run through of what I have on my shelf, not like a book by book because I'm gonna do a library tour later, but these are the ones that I brought with me when we moved, the ones I didn't put in storage, so a lot of them are my newer books. So this is my Harry Potter and like Christian shelf. So like there, I had a lot more Harry Potter on this shelf, but a lot of it went over there to that. So I have the Hogwarts, it's not really the Hogwarts castle I don't even know it doesn't I don't know but I have the castle scene books here and then all of my like biblical study books and then I have Akatar here this is kind of like my Sarah J Mass and Marissa Meyer shelf so um Akatar books I actually lent out Akatar so of course A Court of Frost and Starlight is in its place until I get it back and I not like I had space for it anyway and then the Throne of Glass series is here the Renegade series is here and then the uh, Lunar Chronicles is here, even though I also lent out Cinder, so that one's missing from here. And then I have The Cruel Prince, Nevernight, God's Grave. So I have the rest of this series, but I reread The Wicked King right before reading K Queen of Nothing, and so there's a whole stack of those books upstairs. I don't know where they're gonna go. Heartless by Marissa Meyer wouldn't fit up here with this stuff. And then, you know, Starless Sea, Enchante, two copies of Ninth House, one signed, one not. Sorcery of Thorns, Girls of Paper and Fire and Storm and Shadow, these should be switched around. I didn't even notice that. Curse of Dark and Lonely, Muse of Nightmares, to go with Stranger Dreamer here. Name of the Wind, which is like maybe my favorite book this year. So freaking good. And then just a stack of miscellaneous like... I don't know, like things that I've gotten recently, like Gideon and Winterwood. Um, Wicked Deep is here because it's by Shay Earnshaw as well, and then like Nocturna, Devouring Grey, River of Royal Blood, just things that are about this size that would fit over here that are fantasy. And then um, LT's like mass market paperbacks, um, then there's just an overview of what's there, and then contemporary shelves down here and here pretty much. But yeah, so that's where we are as of right now. I'll back up so you can see. Um, and then up here in these, because I know what you're probably thinking, it's so stuffed, why don't you put some stuff up here? I drink a lot of tea and I collect tea sets. I have my tea in while I'm reading my books and my tea sets go up in those little compartments. So I don't put anything in those. So yeah, so right now I'm waiting on one of LT and I's best friends who is going to come and ride with me to Ikea so he can do all the heavy lifting while LT is at work and help me kind of put together this bookshelf so I can have it done before LT gets home because he doesn't get off until really late tonight. That's the update for now. I will update you when I have another update. Look at Oliver there. Like, Oliver, what are you, what are you doing down there? Huh? What are you doing down there, buddy? What are you doing? You're so cute! You're just so cute! Are you too shy? Camera's on you. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm a little Can I say no to you? Where 
do you go when I see a dream and I'm a little caught up, I'm a little shaken. You are as someone. Okay, so we got two of the um, or we got three of the bookshelves up and I wanted to test out what filming would look like even though I'm in my Philips Hue light right now so this is not the lighting that I would have but I wanted to see what my new background would look like and as I continue to add more books I'll probably make it a wider angle like we might zoom out some ooh not in out and scoot over but that bookshelf is for my books in storage and so I don't have these books with me yet and so for now I think I'm just gonna zoom on this maybe area and hopefully you'll be none the wiser except I just told you so something like that I feel like it's cute like it'll be a cute background I'm realizing that I don't have very many like knickknacky things on my shelves and there are some places where knickknacks would look cute I have a candle right there wow Oliver you okay you okay buddy you doing all right? I have a candle right back here, but on top of my stack of graphic novels, which I thought, I have quite a few graphic novels, I thought, but like they're thin, I guess. But on top of my graphic novels, I need like a plant or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, I wanna decorate them a little bit more because I'm realizing now that I have mostly just books on my shelves. So anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna end this video here or if I'm going to wait until I put the rest of the library together, but maybe I'll do a part two of putting the library together. So in that case, thank you guys so much for watching me put together my little library or like watching the beginning stages of me putting together my library. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>